already. Moving on to the next event, the women's 200 meter backstroke, in which we are going to see only three heats. So that's why Kira Toussaint is already out there, the winner of the 100 meters and also one of the favorites in the longer backstroke event. Only 24 swimmers enter this one. But of course, as this is 200 meters, there will not be semifinals, but direct qualification for the final. That means the eight fastest will be in tonight's final. Two cent in for Jenny Mensing from Germany, swimming next to her in lane five. Kira Toussaint, whose mother was an Olympic champion back in 1984 in this event, the 200 backstroke. But Kira is considered to be rather a sprinter. Her first great results came in the 50 back. But now she is very good in the 100 back as well, swimming close to Katinka Hosu's European records in both the prelims and the semis of the 100 back. But what about the longest distance, the 200 meters? She had the third fastest entry time, only behind Pantiera and Ustinova. And, uh, time of 203.5. Very good turn and underwater work by Toussaint at the 100 meter mark as she is pulling away from Jenny Mensing. In third, it's Ekaterina Avramova from Turkey. Swimming in line six. And Toussaint is clearly up ahead of the rest of the pack, already two body length. Ahead of Mensing and of Remova. Would it be possible that she makes the backstroke treble that Katinka Hosu did back in Copenhagen two years ago? She will be the favorite in the 50 meters. She did already win the 100 meters and she will easily qualify for the final in the 200 meters. It is Toussaint Avramova and Esther Sabufeltoti, another young Hungarian junior swimmer in third position. So Jenny Mensing, surprisingly, only down in fourth position with two more heats to go. So Kira Tusen, winner by almost two full seconds ahead of Ekaterina Avramova. And we have heat number two ready, Daria Ustinova. Lane four. Swimming next to her, Simona Kubova, formerly known as Simona Bankova. Short course European champion. Here she is, representing the Czech Republic. And Ustinova will be swimming in lane four. She did not make the finals in the 100 meters, 
but this is her pet event. Here at Toussaint, lay down the gauntlet in heat one. Let's see what Kubova and Nustinova is capable of in this second heat. Kubova. All ahead of Nustinova in that black cap of hers. Her split at the 50 meter mark, 29.1, which is more than four tenths of a second faster than Kira Toussaint's pace was in the previous heat. However, if you can recall Toussaint, made a push right after the 100 meter mark. So that is where she won that race. With a huge turn and great underwater kicking. That is Kubova and Ustinova on 101.1, still three tenths of a second faster than two cents pace, but I think this third 50 meters will be slower than that of Kira Toussaint. Those two still swimming together very close to each other. And Looking also good, Susanna Parasimovic from Poland. 133.3. Yes, this is already one full second off the pace of Kira Tusen. So the almost crucial third 50 meters was way slower for these ladies than Kira Tusen. Now it is Ustinova ahead of Karasimovic and Kubova and the final touch on a 205.49, which means eight tenths of a second of the pace of Kira to send. Those three well ahead of the rest of the pack, so most probably it's going to be Ustinova, Kubova and Harasimovic making it to the final. Uh, the nicest of touches by Ustinova at the wall, but it was still good enough to easily win the second heat in the women's 200 back. This is the lineup for the final heat. Margarita Panziera, long course European champion, world championship finalist, will be swimming in lane four. She was a finalist in the 100 meters, but did not manage to get close to the medals. However, she is absolutely the favorite and the 200 meters. She has an entry time of 201.5, which is almost one full second faster than Ustinova's. But first things first, now she needs to qualify for the final. Verena Zavina, former World and European short course champion of the event on line five. She also made the finals of the 100 meters. And she was closest to the world record of Katinka Hosu. Already under two minutes a few years ago. It is Zavina first, Panziera and Hanna Roswal from Sweden in third position. Pace is a little bit faster than that of Ustinova and Kira Tusen. Panziera now taking over. And 
Up she goes. Dubai Zavina, thank you for the lead off. 59.6. That was a very swift 50 meters by Panziera. Swing a 30.5. And she is a class on her own, it seems. Safina trying to stay as close as possible to Panziera with 50 meters to go. 31.3. And this is already two seconds faster than Ustinova's pace was. And a second faster than Ira Toussaint's. Look at those two, almost five meters ahead of Hanna Roswell, who is down in third right now. So Panziera is going to take this one. Sabina, close second, 202.88, the winning time. Roswell, almost four and a half seconds behind. This means Pantiera will qualify first ahead of Darina Zavina. Here's Zavina. I like the technique she swims with. And this one's good enough for second position behind Pantiera. Here is the final result of the final heat, Hannah Roswald in third position, but already out. So not making the final of the two-meter back. It is Panziera first, then Zavina, Toussaint and Ustinova. I think those four will fight for the medals this afternoon when it comes to the final. 206.39, the qualifying time by Ekaterina Abramova.